explain why let me explain the difference between why someone would use skull piercing and why someone would use quick draw it depends on the kind of player you are um it also depends on how good quick draw ends up being because we don't know exactly how good say the hip fire accuracy is going to be on the wingman if the hip fire accuracy is like amazing on the wingman then it will just probably be always used over skull piercer but um if it's just a little bit of an increase then basically what it's looking like so the new quick draw hop-up gives what it gives ads speed it gives draw out time and it gives hip fire accuracy. So you have to choose that over a skull piercer that gives more headshot damage. So it's really a matter of whether you use your wingman as a primary weapon or if you use your wingman as a secondary weapon. Me, I usually use my wingman as a secondary weapon. So in the new season, I have most people who do that are gonna be running like R99 wingman, right? So having quick draw is gonna benefit me a lot more so that I can, I can almost reliably always kill someone's shields with an R99 mag, always, right? Like 99% of the time. If I get, if I have a full R99 mag against somebody, I'm breaking their shields. So then I usually swap to my wingman, which is when the quick draw hop up comes in handy and finish them off, right? Now, if you're the kind of person that uses the wingman as your primary weapon, you're not gonna want that. You're gonna want the skull piercer because you're gonna be using it. Um, you're gonna have it out. You're gonna be ADS with it anyways. So you're not gonna get any benefit from the quick draw. The only benefit you get is like hit fire accuracy, but that's definitely not worth over headshot damage. So, um, yeah, it just depends on the kind of player you are, but I definitely think that R99 Wingman with the quick draw hop up is going to be very, very good. I think it's going to be so good that it's just not going to be worth using. It's not going to be worth using the Wingman with the Skull Piercer, even if you do use it as your primary. I think it's better to adapt and learn to use the Wingman as your secondary. That's just my opinion. I think that's how good the quick draw hop up is going to be. I'm about to use just double heavy, bro. Bro. Where'd he go? Oh, I hear him. Is he below or above? You guys are hyping me up so much for like there is quake it's one wingman shot oh my god look at his aim it's insane <laughs> you can open doors backwards so you can you can momentum shift through doors like that you can open doors backwards His teammate doesn't give a fuck. He's just holding up top. Look at him. Are you stupid? <laughs> Do you think I was like portaling away or something? Oh, come on, bro.
not a caustic. Anything but that. That's only slightly annoying. Ah, fuck, dude. I need to, like, hit my shots. How many teams are here? Get off the fucking tower, dude. No, oh, not like this. Stop. I hate caustic so much, dude. Go away! Holy shit. They res him? Oh, he's right there. Where'd the caustic go? To dodge these traps here. Is this the caustic? Wait, I think this is the caustic chest. Oh boy. Oh boy. Crazy man, when a bloodhound just doesn't get wall hacks, man, he just feeds a bot. <laughs> it's like, damn, bro, you can't see everyone through walls and have literal fucking wall hacks. That's tough, bro. It's just bloodhounds like a crutch in the game sense category.
I think you get a bad off that quick. Oh my god, dude. I was literally... Dude, I was literally lagging. You guys don't... I don't, I don't even know. You guys probably couldn't see because my stream was lagging. But dude, I was literally freezing every three seconds. And I still fucking won that, dude.